Howdy, y'all. We are going to get out here and do some fall house maintenance. I've just really put off doing this. It's just been hot, and then my work got busy, and then it would get windy, and we got a nice day, and I've got some time, and I'm going to get out here and do this and get some stuff planted for the fall garden. I may be a bit late, but oh well. You know, I'd rather have it in the ground than not at all, and just, you know, whatever. But our okra is still going really good. The tomatoes that we grew way a long time ago are just now starting to do anything. So hopefully we'll have tomatoes this fall because we didn't have tomatoes like all summer long. They were just barely hanging on and now they're doing better. But we're gonna put some carrots, Brussels sprouts, celery, cabbage. Our cabbage last year did really good. Or actually earlier, the spring cabbage did really good. Uh, broccoli, it didn't do so good. I'm gonna grow some beets, some more cilantro and radishes. Uh, we'll have the, oh yeah, and some uh, sugar snap peas. I'm gonna do the sugar snap peas along this trellis here so it'll grow up that, but I've gotta clear out some of this and just really get to work in here because it's kind of a mess right now. I'll let it go all summer, but it is what it is. One thing I'm really trying to do is, like all anything I've planted, cut it off at the base to leave the root system in the dirt. You like those pretty flowers? I'm going to be laying some more, once I get this all cleaned up, the plan is to lay some more mulch down.
got grass that's growing in from the, the edge here. I'm gonna put some vinegar down over that grass and then put a nice heavy new thick layer of mulch on top of that. Maybe even some more cardboard right there. Probably, yeah, more cardboard. really wanting to get all this stuff in the ground because we're supposed to get some rain later this week. I really don't want to cut these mar these marigolds just are not doing good right through here. Some of them are doing really good and some of them kind of starting to flatline is what it seems like. I hate getting rid of them because they still offer, you know, some type of a pest control. Uh, my wife is saving seeds for next year too. We got a video coming out on how we're saving the seeds. That should be cool. You like these pods right here? Good for seeds. I'm just gonna kind of clean these up for right now. Kind of just let them be. It's not hurting anything to have them here. Kind of, it's a little ugly, but oh well. <laughs> it's helping out with the bugs. Kind of wait, making my way around through the garden. I'm mostly in, focused on this row right here, just because I want to get. This is where I've got room. My okras are still going really nicely. Uh, I'm just gonna. This is clover that I planted last year. I'm just gonna try to get most of these weeds out, but then just chop that clover up and uh, just chop it up and, you know, like hoe it into the ground. Same for these, these uh, butternut squashes. I'm just gonna chop them up and into the ground. Oh, there's a squash bug, you motherfucker. Why my squashes are dying.
just trying stuff out. That's what this is all about. Experimentation. Just figuring it out. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try and figure it out. Yeah. Yeah! made her smell good. It's one of my favorite smells. Fresh made I don't know. Actually, I, I'm going to try this. I was a wasp. I got stung the other day. I'm just using this wire that actually came for the chicken pen. I'm just, it works pretty good. Oops. There, 
trying to get it up off the ground. Just chopping all this up in there. Can't find my other rake. Carrots grew pretty good in this bed. I'll probably do them in here again. This is all compost. I think a little bit of dirt, regular ground dirt. Put all this dye in here. Fuck it. Probably wait until in the morning to plant. Just get a good water on all this tonight.
decided I'm going to plant my beets along the outside of this. I think it'll be all right. Who knows? I do this side first. I need to till the other a little bit. I just like trying to use up like space. Really, you know, just like use up as much space as I can. I think that's really cool about gardening. Like, I hate the monocrop, the way shit looks when it's monocropped. It just looks lame to me. Gotta keep this soil wet. Should grow some stuff. Okay, good for the night. All right, a lot of this green that you see is clover that I planted last year. And it's it came up during the summertime and just really got to, to going. So I just kind of chopped it up and tilled it in here because if, as far as I know, this is a good nitrogen fixer. The idea, I planted it last, like the winter, last at the very end of fall, and so it would grow all winter time and it never did and it didn't grow until spring and so now i've just been dealing with it all through spring you know and it does help keep the uh the structure of the you know keeps it from drying out but now i'm just you know adding it back in so a lot of this green that you see is just clover uh roots and stuff like that that's just going to go back into adding to the soil nutrients I'm, most of everything I do is just experimentation. I haven't been doing this for 40 years. I've been doing this for like a, you know, a decade or a little over a decade. And I just kind of figure stuff out and try different things. It's not like, luckily, ha thankfully, we don't live in the world yet where we solely have to live off of our uh, produce. But the go, you know, eventually that could be a possibility. But for now, we're just learning and growing. But I am trying. So these were Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to do Brussels sprouts first. And what I did, got these pods here. I'm just going to go ahead and plant it in the ground. Just cover it very lightly. I 
I like to plant my stuff pretty close together. I found that the the requirements for most plants is kind of not really what it actually is. I wish I had these markers. I put a little stick. Go ahead. I need to go get me some more of these markers so I know where I plant stuff. <laughs> Thought we had some. I'm just gonna use sticks for right now so I can see where we're at. Is a good root okay. system that's just gonna decompose okay. and go back all these roots and stuff. It's awesome. Tomatoes. Let's pause it. I think the hardest part about the fall garden is finding enough room for all your stuff because you've still got stuff from summer and spring that you know is still going. For me, anyway. I know you've got a decent sized garden. It's not the biggest, but. Where did I put that? So those are our Brussels sprouts. Maybe plant a few more, something else. Okay. All right, here I'm just doing interchangeable broccoli and cabbage. I think this is gonna work really good with the peat moss stuff. Cool. I got ants in here. Is this one? Just have some kind of marker there so you know where you're at. Just kind of shredding this stuff around. Alright, I am going to go ahead and get our Whoa. carrots planted. The carrots did freaking awesome in this compost. It's only like a little bit less than a foot deep. And I filled the bottom up with sticks. I made a video about that too. That we used, I used sticks. And it just did really good. So I'm gonna put carrots back in here. Let me rake it up a bit. Damn it, Della. Barely. Well, I, that's why I said barely.
I haven't exactly found the best way to plant carrots. Seems like anytime I try to do any type of organization, they don't turn out so good. But when I just like throw them around randomly, they go crazy. I am gonna try a little bit of organization here. Carrot seeds are so small. My dumbass just wiped the sweat off my head and then tried to grab the seeds. They just stick to my fingers.
Yes, I think they're an ant. I've been spreading the ant stuff around. Try not to get it too much in the garden, you know? But I think I'm gonna have to. carrots in the ground not last night or I'm gonna do the rest of the I'm gonna do the rest of the celery down here at this end I think it'll do pretty good here <laughs> 